how you do it. Oh, come on in. Come on into my humble abode. Hello, my name is Debbie Church. Uh, this is Gus. The man behind the camera is Jorge. If it looks like I've been crying, it's because I've been crying. I, I, we just filmed this and I hated the way I looked and I cried. I must be like, it, it must be the full moon. I have no idea. But it's fine. We're fine now. We changed. So we're good. I, I just, I, if it looks like I'm distraught, it's because I was distraught like five minutes ago. So, um, this is the entrance to our house. This is our house tour. So, this is the entryway. This is my rug. I've had this rug for years. It's from World Market. I love it. I love the aesthetic of it. This is very much the vibes of our house. So when you first open the door, it's like, welcome to our home. This is the entryway, like sitting area. Look out the window. He likes to look out the window. He likes to guard the house. He likes to growl at any and everything that passes by. So it's great. And um, I got these chairs at Home Goods. Pillows, I don't remember, but I just like this little moment. Over here, it's just another little entryway moment. I, I do some propagating right here. We're good. What just happened, baby? Let's just get back into it. And so this is where, this is the most recent like addition, this propagating little area. So I like propagating because it's like, you know, a more affordable way to like grow your plant collection. So right now I'm propagating friendship plants and a monstera leaf just to see what I can do. Stool table to put my things on. We have another little three moment with three plants right here. These are some of my favorite plants that we actually have in the house. Before I even continue, our living room is pretty big. If you want to like show how big it is, like we have a very large living room. It's been kind of interesting to try to fill it all up. We've gone through a couple like hits and misses, but I think we're in a really good place right now. And I wanted to film this house tour before the holidays because we kind of switched up. Like I like to have a Christmas tree right in front of the window and things will look different, but this is what it looks like majority of the year. And we've lived here for, since last September, so it's been like a year and a month, so we've had some time to decorate. It's not done, but I feel like it's pretty done. What'd you say? It's filled up. It's filled up. So we moved the TV to be above the fireplace mantle. I love this mantle because I can display like my Ruby Core poetry books. I love these. I have my plants surrounding everything. We have Gus's toys in a cloth bag. This one's name is Jeff. He likes them a lot. Where we usually hang Christmas stockings. I really like hanging air plants here. I think it looks really cool and it's a, a good use of the space. My friend got me this rock. I think it's like a geode or something, but she got me this when she and her boyfriend went on a trip. Like it was like a cross country trip. They drove like 3,000 miles or 10,000, I don't know, forgot. They drove a lot. And I put more plants here. Jorge actually got me this plant. And this is Gus's little teepee. Come here, honey. Go to your room. Go to your room. He likes to lay in here and watch us watching TV. So that's always, you know, a good time. He looks very picturesque in here. Yeah, I just thought it was a cute little dog bed. It, I got it on Amazon. A lot of the furniture that we have is actually from like thrift stores, vintage shops, consignment, just because like, you know, furniture is expensive. <laughs> it's just a matter of looking all the time. But this little area actually is not thrift store. We got this at Living Spaces, this concrete table at Living Spaces. This is one of my favorite pieces in the house. It's very solid. I like that it's rounded edges so that people can't like really hurt themselves when they're walking by. Jorge and I found this in a parking lot. I felt like I was doing something wrong, but. We whatever. cleared it from the road. That's what we did. We were cleaning it from the road, yeah. yeah. It could have caused an accident, honestly. Exactly. It was in the middle of the road. So we're good Samaritans. <laughs> yeah, but it had the price tag on it, so it was $55 or something like that. And so I like to say this was a score. It was a good deal. <laughs> Clothes are from like pillow places like Target, World Market, um, Home Goods, things like that. This table we got for free from my parents. They weren't using it, so we took it. I love the color of it. It's very my vibe. We have this hanging plant. We have lots of snake plants throughout the house. And this um, is a vintage chest from a consignment store in Palm Springs. I love this. This is probably one of our more expensive pieces, but I've had this for a really, really long time. <coughs> okay, so, um, and then I like to have this little moment right here. I like to, I just recently um, planted a propagation, so I haven't repropagated this area, but usually there's um, friendship plants that are propagating in here, but I gave almost all of the propagations away, like, you know, friendship plants, you know, 
give them away. This is one of my favorite pieces. I got this in Palm Springs at a consignment store and with my mom and I just thought it was so beautiful and you can tell somebody really painted this and I just, I love like art that isn't just that it's like a one of a kind. So I felt really lucky to find this. My best friend, when we were living in Napa for college, she and I and two of my other friends, we pulled over on the side of the road and she picked these and pressed them. So I keep that with me everywhere I go. And this is another plant. This is one of my favorite plants is this Monstera. It's really thriving. So in the kitchen, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm feeling a little better, which is good, okay. Whew, so this is the kitchen. Um, I love this kitchen because around golden hour, it gets really warm and like the lighting in here is just stunning. And so, um, and there's a, a, a skylight in here. So it's really nice just for lighting. And we like to keep little bits and bobs around um, the stove for cooking. I feel like we cook a lot. Mm -hmm. You cook a lot more than me, but we cook a lot. And this is like, the propagation pots that I use. I use little guys or this one or this one. So I just keep these here. I should probably have a cuter place for them. And around the sink, we have things that we use every day. I like to have a watering can here. Jorge got me these succulents like long, long time ago and they're really thriving. A lot of little new growth babies and a little baby money tree. Pictures of our friends and family. This is a uh, another little like thrift store corner. So I got this at a thrift store, this at a consignment store, these at thrift stores. My best friend, she made this for me for my birthday and I love it. So I like the little sticking on things to it and it's really cute. This table is from a consignment store in Palm Springs, but I really like it. This is just like a little station. Like we do coffee here. We feed Gus here. His leashes are here. We put like a bunch of like shot glasses and oh, what was that? I have no idea what that was. Oh, it's a piece of a flower. I was propagating something in that. Oh, and this is um, a spoon that my dad got me before I moved into my first apartment in downtown when I was like 22 or 21. So it's a, a while ago and I brought it everywhere I go. I always forget that it's here because it's like, you just don't like look right there, but I like it because it's like a fun little moment. Do you notice it? I do. Sometimes when we have guests over and they ask for a spoon, I'll bring them this and it it doesn't really get the kind of laughs that I want, but um, I try really hard. <laughs> I really like it. Then you get add some pizzazz. So we have a patio that is the, in the inside of our house. So our house is kind of like a donut, a square donut. So the, the house surrounds a patio. So this is our uh, indoor outdoor patio. In the hall, we like to keep these pictures. Our house is like a lot of neutrals. And so I like to like throw in like peaches and oranges and yellows whenever I can, like warm tones. I'm not like too much of like a cool tone kind of gal, but I like this hall and it leads you to the guest room. So this is a sheepskin rug that my grandma gave me. She's had it for years and I stole that from her. This is a consignment store couch. Love it, very mid-century modern. And I wanted the guest room to feel very like warm. So I have like this, I have a, a warm quilt. Um, we've been meaning to put this up, but we don't know where, where to yet. But kind of like a nice view of the backyard. I'll take you back there right now, but there's a lot of bees right now and I don't wanna like get stung, but I'm happy the bees have found a safe oasis in my backyard. My, Debbie actually means bee or Deborah means bee. So my family out there. So next is the office. So this is actually just like a storage space. Linens in here, it's pretty cool. This is the office, love it. This is where Peachy Keen things happen. My business's name is actually Peachy Keen Social. So I like to be inspired. This is one of my favorite colors, this like peachy warm tone. And I got this big fan from Urban Outfitters. I love this piece. I will have it for probably the rest of my life. And this is my big money tree. And it's grown a lot since we first got it. And it really likes this corner. And I think it likes that it gets, it's like near a window, but it's not too, too bright in here. And I just work from this desk, crystals hanging. And this is our guest bathroom. I like the vibes in here. Again, very peachy. We have a skylight, a big mirror to look at yourself. 
and you know live your best life I really like this. It's a Himalayan salt candle. People always tell me that they love that. It's really cute It's like a little baby guy and you just keep it in here. I like it for when I take baths and stuff My bath salts are here and um hanging plant and what's cool about this bathroom Randomly it has a door into our side yard. So our backyard wraps around the house and this is really cool It's like a little area guys Oh He's gonna go defend our honor against the neighbor's club. We'll leave him out there to go enjoy himself. But it's really nice because sometimes I'll do my makeup and just open the door and enjoy the breeze. Next is the master bedroom. I like to keep the master bedroom relatively simple. Yeah, and so we have another one of these mirrors. We have two of these. I just love round mirrors. I think that they're cute. I think they're pretty. Some pampas grass, some dried eucalyptus. Jorge actually got me a eucalyptus service for my birthday. This is again a Gus. This is Gus's bed. Um, he's a very modern boho dog. I take this bed on himself, actually. But he re he prefers our bed. He prefers our bed. <laughs> he sleeps here from like when we go to bed to maybe like 5 a.m. But right as soon as the sun starts rising, he jumps on the bed with us and we're too tired to kick him off. So Next, I will take you into our patio. So I love uh, that this patio is here. I'll show you right now. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. So this is a table. I got this at a consignment store in Palm Springs. I sound so annoying with the amount of consignment. My boyfriend painted it white and we got these little soft cushions for your butt, you know, so you can like sit and be comfy. It's like a little butt massage. Have you sat on these yet? Actually, I haven't. Well, these are new purchases. They feel a little weird. Go ahead and try this real quick. Aren't they a little weird? I suppose more cushioned for sure. Yeah, it's a little strange. On this table, I, I really love indigo dyed blankets and I got this from a guy whose mom actually did it. I like to keep crystals throughout the house. I like, you know, these little guys, they're really pretty. And a little sage. We sage inside a lot, but I like saging in this patio as well. And over here, some of our outdoor plants. I love these plants, they, they are thriving. They both need a little fake flash flood. I can tell that they need a bunch of water. The prickly pear, more plants, um, Casa Su Casa. All of these pillows are from World Market. And this couch I love, we got this at Home Depot. Uh, Lowe's. 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 We got this couch at Lowe's. Our barbecue, my parents got this for you for Christmas, right? For my birthday. And then they got him this for Christmas. So um, this is like his little area. He grills all the time, I'm very lucky. And um, just like hint, hint, I would love some carne asada tonight. Like I would. Love some. <laughs> and this is cool because you can put food on here and you can cover it and then bugs can't get on your food. So I love that. Now that is the patio. I'm obsessed with that area of the house. I just really like the house to feel really warm and people can come and feel comfortable. Oh, so there's one more place. We walk through here. And this is where Jorge spends a lot of his time. He's a really big car guy, so we love our garage. I feel like a lot of people don't have nice garages, and so I feel really lucky that I have a boyfriend that like really takes the time to organize it, and like he has all of our keys nice and organized. And so he puts like flags everywhere, and pictures, and Pontiac stuff, and this is one of his cars. This is a Pontiac Firebird, and like I'm obsessed with it. You guys should have seen what it looked like when we first started dating. That's how you know, like, it's real. <laughs> when we first started dating, there was literally like plants growing out of the hood. <laughs> so it's, this car has come a long way. But Jorge is very organized, and I'm not. Look how organized he is. He just has all his stuff nice and organized. One of your first guitars, right? Yeah, one of my first guitars when I was uh, gigging back, uh, back in the back in the, back in the heydays. Back in the heydays. But it's just cool. He works outside all the time, so with the garage doors being open. People drive by and they like look in the garage and they think it's so cool. And it's just so great. That is the end of the house tour. I'm sorry that the lighting was changing. I think I'm gonna do a plant tour as well. And for anybody that knows me, I'm sorry if my mood was a little bit down. I was just feeling a little down. I really wanted to film this house tour because I, I'm really excited about how the house looks right now and it's about to be the holiday season and it's the house is gonna change. So, and I don't know how long we're gonna be here. I love this house. If we have to leave, that's fine. I, we will make any home a home. As long as I'm with you, on this we're together. Yeah, feel free to like this video, subscribe.
It's always a pleasure. Goodbye.